Hi, hello. How are you? Good. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Great. Excellent. How about you? All right. I think I am a little bit busy, but with a lot of work, <laughs> and that is that is good, right? Okay. Okay, we have to change all these things. There we. How was your day? Uh, just fine with a uh, a little work in the office, but it's okay. Okay, good. So you didn't have problems today to log in, huh? So what? You didn't have problems to enter in the link? No. It was last. Um, Last Friday, last Thursday, people had some problems. I don't know why. Yes, last Thursday, see, yes, I was a uh, problem to log in. Okay, well, the good thing is that not today, right? No, not today. Yeah. Okay, good. Hey, Juan, good evening. How are you, Juan? Hi, I am very well. Nice. Okay, we lost one. We have less one. Okay, then let's. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of this reading. Okay, we have the, it says reading a walk up, walk up Fifth Avenue. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. We'll do this by reading an article titled, A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue, between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. 2. Now walk up 5th Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. 3. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. 4. Right across from Rockefeller Center on 5th Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's 
and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. to the New York Public Library. The entrance is... Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. We'll do this by reading an article titled, A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue, between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, that's the first one that says, start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue between 33rd and 34th Street. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Okay, questions? About vocabulary? Then the number what is two. the meaning? What huh? is the meaning of a state building? Oh, the Empire State Building. Okay, ah. so, okay, that's the name of the, the the famous building in New York. This one, Empire State Building. Como que el, el edificio. The high edificio del del imperio del estado, right? So then that's the Empire State. Ah. Building. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the name. Okay, number two. Two. Now walk up Fifth Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Okay, so in this one we have, you know, the, the walk on up Fifth Avenue and seven blocks to New York Public Life. You can find there uh, 10 million books. It's incredible, the quantity of books. Walk up Sixth Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Four. Okay, so here we have Wokapsic Avenue, 49th Street. You are standing in the middle of the 19 build, buildings of Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center, 19 buildings. Okay, so es que le llaman el Centro Rockefeller, 19 edificios, right? Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block. Turn left, and you are in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice escape in the rink there. Drink is in a plaza, is in a pista de hielo, right? Where you can skate, ice skate. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows Many of these windows come from France. Okay, and that is the construction of St. Patrick's windows. Cathedral. Many of these windows. So many of these windows 
come from France. Okay. Now, okay, so this is what we have. Teacher. Yes. What is noisy? Uh, ruidoso. Okay. Scandaloso, right? It's too noisy. Okay, too noisy. Okay, and this one we had listen to the conversations, check the correct answer. This is the, the midterm test, right? The midterm exam. And we have the review. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Okay, so we have, it says, uh, listen to the conversation, check the correct answers. Mark is going to, what is Mark going to be? KDH, they are going to have a party on, what day? They are going to, what are they going to do at the party? Then sing songs for watch television. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD, and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. Okay, so how old is it going to be? A, B, or C? A. Okay. A, A. A. Okay, good. A. And the second one, they're going to have a party on when? On Saturday. On uh, Saturday. What kind of party? They're going to be singing song. Sing song. Singing song? Okay, so I mean, it's like a karaoke party, right? Okay, that's uh, that was the, the listening section you can check, right? Then the other one was uh, match the questions with the answers. Say match the questions with the answers. Are we going to work on the weekend? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six options. That means that we have six sentences. Okay. What's number one? No, we're See. not. No, we're not. Okay. No, we're not. Better. We're going to relax. We're going to relax. Are they going to cook dinner? Yes, they, yes, are. they, they are. are. Yes, they are. They're going to make pasta. Okay. Are you going to exercise this evening? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah, because it's you, right? Is Bill going to do anything after work? Yes, he is. He's going to visit his parents. Okay. Are Pam and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? No, they aren't. 
they are going to have a party. Here. And the last one, is it going to rain tomorrow? No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be cloudy. Okay, one step before raining. All right. So we submit it, and then we see that we have 20 points. And this was, you know, the practice of going to. Okay, select WH questions to complete the conversation here. Select WH questions to complete. The, here, uh, the key is to see the answer first. Next summer, we are going to go to Alaska. We're going to go to Alaska. Where are you going to next summer? Where are you going to go next summer? Yes. Okay, the answer is we're going to take a boat in the next one. Alaska, wow. Where How could... are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? Okay, good. The next one is, I'm going to go. That sounds so exciting. I'm going to go with my family. Who are you going to go with? Who are you going to go with? Yes. Then we're going to go on June 21st. When are you going to go? Yes. Okay, as you can see here, we have question with where, the place, how is the kind of transportation you are going to use, uh, who, the people that are going to be with you in the trip or travel, and when, when are you planning to go? Okay, there you go. Then the next one was complete the conversations. And you have to select a word from this option. Then still get or have. Have. I have. I have a headache. I have a headache. Drink it or take. 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 Conversation two. What's how what? what the matter? What's, what's, what's the matter? matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? I don't feel well. Well, I don't feel well. And how do you feel what? Today? How do you feel? How do you? How? Oh. How do you feel today? Not so good. Have I feel so right? Have I have I have, I have, I have sort of so right so right and I have a backache. Don't exercise. Don't exercise. And use the medication. Use medicate use medication. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes, you can use you, no problem. Okay? You can use it and you can have it. All right. And that was um, one using vocabulary. Now there was a reading. Uh, home remedies. Okay, that says a call. What do you do? when you have a cold, but the remedy from your house, you know, the doctor, right? What can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Okay, so pitas calientes, right? In this case, chicken. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon, juice, and milk. Suena michelada, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, very weird. <laughs> That's strange. Right? Look. 
hot water. Echamos agua caliente. Red pepper, chile. Sugar, lemon. Lemon juice and milk. Pero el lemon en la milk como que no van, ¿verdad? No. No. Se corta, creo yo. Así como en Spanish. Well, but anyway. It's in, the, it's in another country. Okay, good. This is a home remedy for the hey, what's happening? For the call. Okay, the second one is a cough. Do you have a bad cough? Drink warm tea or take some honey. This can make your throat feel better. Yeah, this is okay. Okay, warm tea, honey. This can make your uh, throat feel better. What is your home remedy? ¿Qué usan ustedes para la tos como remedio casero? Agua de eucalipto. Ah, okay. Miel con limón. Ginger. Miel con limón. Ahí está agua. The ginger, yes. Honey with lemon. Yes, honey with lemon. Those are good. The headache, what about a headache? Put a cold cloth on your head, okay? Or a splash, a splash. Okay, splash some golpecitos, así que chetadita, right? In your face uh, with cold water. And you can also put your hands in hot water. Poner las manos en agua caliente. Well, suena más a castigo que su medio. Okay, good. Then, insomnia, can't sleep at night, drink a large glass of warm milk, or take a very warm bath. Uh, la leche a la El baño, probably. Probably. <laughs> yes. I don't know. That one, I don't know. Okay, for a cold. What is, uh, you can drink warm tea or take some honey Put a cold clothes, which one? Some, Some people, people eat hot chicken. chicken so. Okay. For a cup? You can drink warm tea. You drink warm tea or, or honey. Yeah, you can drink warm tea or take some honey. Yes. Okay. For a headache? Pamela. Put a cold clothes on your head. Okay. What? And for insomnia? Please. Drink a large glass of warm milk or take warm bath. A warm bath. Okay. That's it. <sighs> Very good. And then you have, that was the midterm exam, okay? So that was, that's the end of the half of the course that we have. And now we go to section four, okay? This okay. is where we're starting today now. Okay, this is the lesson four. I'm gonna pregunta before we start, I'm gonna pregunta de los, Ejercicios que están en la 4 o 5, o que ya vimos. Any doubts? No. No. Okay, and then let's continue. By the end of this class, we will learn vocabulary talking about things people hate to do. Okay, las cosas que no nos gustan. Mm. What is something that we don't like? Top eight things people have to do. Okay. What are your, let me see, top three things you know that you like? And now here we have top eight. Uh, let's listen. Let me check for this sound. Yes, there we go. Ready. 
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. 1. Stand in line. 2. Do laundry. 3. Travel to work. 4. Go to meetings. 5. Exercise. 6. Work in the yard. 7. Clean the house. 8. Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. This vocabulary by describing... Open the mail. Okay, just for, for the words, for the vocabulary, we have a stand in line, do laundry, travel to work, a good meeting, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, and open the mail. Okay? These are eight activities, right? There are others, okay? There are others. But from this one, de estas, ¿cuáles son las que ustedes hate to do? ¿Qué así con están aquí. Están en line. Okay, están en line. Very good. What else? Travel to work. Travel to work. Okay. Travel yes. to work. Yes, travel to work. Me too. What else? Clean the house. <laughs> Clean the house. Um, yeah. I can do that. I can accept. It. Do do laundry. Do laundry. Yeah, long to take time. <laughs> what else? Both standing line. Standing line, yes. Standing line is terrible. Okay, what else? Go to meetings. Which one? Go to meetings. Okay, yes. Now go to meetings is also terrible. Okay, or sometimes training, right? For capacitation, I have it. Right then, but uh, those that are repetitive, okay, que son como que repetitivas, right? And then, it's okay, when it's something new, right? Attractive, nice. Okay, good. What else? Get up early. Get up early. Okay, that's another one. It's not here, but it's. An activity too. For example, I was thinking about you know uh, a, eating hot food. In my case, for example, I eat eating hot hot food. Okay, así comida muy caliente, right? When I eat. in my case, eating hot food, not too much. You know, warm. I think tibia, right? Something like that. Not too hot. Not too cold. Okay, what else? Otras que no estén aquí, que no les gusten hacer. Washing dishes. Washing dishes, okay. Especially pots. <laughs> yeah, the pots. Yeah, the pots. Yes. Yeah. Sí, aquí entre nos yo pago por eso, okay, para que alguien no haga. Okay, my, to my little daughter. <laughs> a, la, a la más pequeñita, okay, one dollar, one dollar. And she <laughs> Yeah, that's terrible. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Cook. Cook. Okay. Yeah, I hate. <laughs> I hate to cook. No, it's okay. Uh, for example, I hate when it's hot. Okay, I hate hot weather. Okay, I hate hot weather uh, when I am working. Okay. 
but uh, on vacation and if you are on the beach, it's nice, okay? But when you are working and it's hot, it's uncomfortable, okay? But when you are on vacation, you know, you are at the beach, you know, and then it's nice. It's necessary, okay, it's necessary. Okay, what else? Okay, but you can talk about all the things you want to do. Uh -huh. Loud music. Okay. I hate loud music and screams. Good. Okay, fine. Uh, you can say, I hate, uh, I don't know, hot tea. Uh, I hate, uh, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe beer. No, that one. Not. What else? I hate. Watching news. Watching news. Okay, very good. I hate watching news. Nice. Okay, so then these are, you know, activities, right? Top eight, but there are some more. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary, but by... nice putting this vocabulary into practice. I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do. Okay, this is what we're doing, right? I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. Okay, I don't have to clean the house. That's nice. Okay, or I have to clean the house. I hate it. I have to wash the dishes today. Oh, I hate that. Okay, you can say, for example, I hate Mondays because I have to wash the dishes. Okay, I have, I hate Mondays because I have a lot of meetings. Okay, so then this is things that you don't like. Okay, um, Jorge, can you please read the objective here? Okay. By the end. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statement and in the simple past using regular verb. Additional, you, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, so form positive and negative statements in the simple past. Okay, verbs in the simple past. Okay, um, the important thing here is obviously memorize verbs, right? But um, for example, when we use present, the simple present, we use it to express routines, okay? El presente lo utilizamos para rutinas, hechos reales, okay? Facts, okay? Uh, it, for example, Eh, la tierra es redonda, ok? Nunca vamos a decir la tierra era redonda ni la tierra será redonda. Ok, es un hecho de que la tierra es redonda, entonces siempre lo usamos en presente simple, ok? Simple, I mean, simple present. The word is round. Eh, y lo usamos para hacer, enfatizar esos, esos eventos, right? O rutina, routines. I get up every day at six o'clock. I go to work, I take a shower, okay? So things that we do. Or to express frequency, right? I always have breakfast. I never go to sleep at 2 p.m., okay? Esos son los momentos en que se usa el presente simple. Entonces, el simple past es un poco más sencillo, right? Because it's an action that has started in the past and finished in the past. Okay, it's an action that commenced and terminó in the past. Okay, for example, I went to the movies yesterday. I had lunch with my family yesterday. I watched the Super Bowl last night. Okay, la action commenced and terminó ayer. And now it exists only in my memory, okay? So then this is the past, simple past. Pasado simple de los verbos, right? And 
Y ahí dice regular verb. ¿Por qué dice regular verb? ¿Quién sabe por qué? ¿Por qué regular verb? Sé que si alguien quiere saberlo. Porque se usan en pasado. En pasado, con unas dos letritas agregadas, que son ED. Right? Esos son los verbos regulares. Yes, thank you. Then, when I use those verbs in regular form, but there are some others, hay otros que son irregular. Y esos son los que no hay una, como la misma palabra lo dice, no hay una regla. Right? Esos es regular tienen un reglamento, una regla de cómo se escriben, cómo se pronuncian, y los irregulares no. Por ejemplo, cuando dicen go, ¿cuál es el pasado de go? When. When. Ah, entonces ahí ven que no hay relación con el go y el when. ¿Y el pasado de play? Play it. Play it. Ajá, entonces solo le agrega la ed. Entonces, esos son los regulares. Con los que solo van a agregarles ed. Ok, entonces los que no, por ejemplo, take, ¿cuál es el past tense of take? Took. Took, correcto, pues nada que ver con nada. Bueno, entonces es un verbo irregular. Ok, el pasado de sit, sit down. Sit down. Sat down, ¿eh? sat, ok. Ok, ya vi que ya tiene una idea. Entonces, todos esos verbos que cambian la estructura totalmente son los irregulares. Y hay uno que es la misma. Por ejemplo, decir hit, 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 hit. Entonces, es el mismo, la misma estructura, la misma pronunciación, pero el, 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 la, el contexto en oración les va a hacer la diferencia. I hit the ball yesterday. Ok, la palabra yesterday es past tense. I hit the ball every day. Every day me dice que es todos los días, in present. I will hit the ball in the future. Entonces hay que ponerle atención a gente. Okay, esa es una eh, introducción general, right? To the past tense, but in this moment we're going to use regular verb. Ok. Now let's see. It's a video here with more information about the sentence and the verbs in past tense. If you see, pay attention to the affirmative and the negative one. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I Didn't Study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. 
Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Okay, this is important to, to uh, mention and it says, remember this, the negative sentence in past tense, in affirmative, you say, I study on Sunday, okay, affirmative. And then you're going to use in past tense, I studied, okay, with this one, I studied on Sunday. But in the negative form, you see, you didn't, and then the study is, esto se llama base form, la forma base del verbo, la forma base es la forma original, okay, la que no, cam no ha cambiado. Entonces, la, ¿por qué es la forma base? Porque cuando dice study, en presente, Después dice, I study, you study, y cuando es tercera persona, we, we, decimos, he studies, y le agregamos E-E-S. Ahí ya cambiamos la base form. Okay? Uh, he didn't study, and then he said, go back, goes back to the base form. And another thing that you can see is, I didn't study, you didn't study, he didn't study, Aquí no hay tercera persona. She didn't study. Aquí no hay she didn't study. Ok, aquí es todos de una sola manera. Ok. 
eh, en español necesitamos seis formas para decirlo, para conjugar los verbos en, en presente y otras seis en pasado, son doce. En inglés se necesitan dos en presente, ¿ok? Que es work y works. Y en pasado, worked. ¿Ok? Solo tres formas del verbo y ya estamos hablando en presente y en pasado. ¿Ok? So, and in Spanish we need 12. ¿Ok? So, we are more, I know we conjugate more. ¿Ok? So, then, esto es, so no se les olvide que si usamos didn't en pasado para hacer una oración negativa, no estudié. I didn't study. No fui. I didn't go. Ok. Eh, no escucho. I, no escuché. I didn't listen. I didn't watch. No vi. I didn't play. I didn't eat. I didn't work. Ok. I didn't drive. I didn't prepare. Etc. 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 So on. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and co-workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise. On Monday, my friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Good. Now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to say sentences in affirmative form, okay? About things that we didn't do. I mean, but first we're going to start in affirmative. I went, I studied, I played, I worked, uh, I saw, I uh, ate, I drank, I slept. I woke up, I walked, I uh, climbed up, I drove, I, um, let me see, I sat down, I jumped, I exercised, okay? Any verb that comes to your mind in past tense, okay? Then uh, if we can use uh, mostly regular verbs, if we can use a map verb for the ED, okay. Eh, vamos a hacer un tipo de juego, ¿ok? Vamos a decir una oración cada uno. Voy a dar un minuto para que, un, para que escriban una oración, piensen en una oración, pero no pueden repetir un verbo que alguien ya haya dicho. ¿Ok? So, cada quien va a hacer que el primero que, es, que me lo diga va a ser el sobre todo porque puede decir cualquier verbo, ¿right? Y los demás no pueden repetir. And don't repeat. Para que practiquemos más verbos. Sabemos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Sabemos 13. Que tienen que ser 13 verbos diferentes. El que lo repita, paga las pupusas mañana. Ah. Ok. So, I... Uh, you begin, Iris. Yeah, I, Iris, yes. Today... I start the exercise. Okay, I started to exercise. I started. Very good. Okay. Uh -huh. Who's next? Started. 
I played PS4. I played when? Today. Today I played. Today I play PS4. PS4. Okay. Started play. Another one. Los que ya participaron pueden escribir más y volver a decir no problem. Gaby, Gaby. Johanna. Jacob. One sentence in past tense. Um, I travel by motorcycle to my work. Okay, I traveled. There you go, very good. I traveled by motorcycle. Okay, to my work by motorcycle. Okay, good. I traveled. Yes. Good. Salvados, Jacob, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> Next. German. German. Yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drive my car. Yesterday? Drive. I drive my car. Okay, the past tense of drive is drop. I walk at home on Friday. Drop. Drop. Drop, yes. And I walked home. Good. Friday. Friday, on Friday. Okay, yes, I did. The past tense of drive is drop. The sentence is correct, only in past tense. Okay. Good. Okay. We have six. Ya tenemos seis verbos. Look. Started, play, travel, draw. I. Five. Uh -huh, Karen? I fix, fixed my mm -hmm. cell phone. I fixed. Oh, very good. I fixed my cell phone. Yes. I repaired my cell phone. Very I cool. didn't decorate my books. I decorated in press in affirmative, right? I decorated yes. deco, deco, rated my books. Good. Okay. I swam in the pool on weekend. Oh, who said that? Jose. I swam. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Good. Si están usando verbos no muy repetitivos, that's good. No. Swam, decorated, fixed, walked, draw, travel, play, and started. Okay, good. Uh -huh. I danced on my birthday. I danced on my, my brother's birthday. Yes. Danced. Yes, one. I danced. Yes, I danced on my brother's birthday. It's good. I walk into the room. I walked into the room. Es perfecta, pero ya, ya dijeron walked. Okay, Camila. I walked. I. I visited my grandma. I visited. Okay, very good. I visited. I visited my grandma. Okay. Good. I cleaned to kitchen. I clean you. I cleaned, yes, very good. Thank you, Iris. I cleaned. I cleaned the kitchen, yes. Uh, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two more. Okay. Mm -hmm. I went to a party. I went to a party. Okay, good. When I woke up late to yesterday. I woke up late yesterday. Okay. Yes, woke up. Estos dos últimos son irregulares, pero son verbos en pasado. Okay, went and woke up. ¿Se ven? Esa es la gran diferencia en todo lo que hemos estado poniendo. Y de, y de, y de, y de, y de. Ok, Swam era irregular. Y ahí lo draw. Tenemos cuatro verbos irregulares. Ahí se ve la diferencia. Ok, what else? 
copy the class yesterday. I copy it. I copy it. The class yesterday. Okay. Very good. You see, this is one way to practice uh, many verbs. Esto es como para sacar todo el vocabulario que uno a veces tiene y de no usarlo se, se olvida, ¿no? Hay, se queda ahí estancado. Este es una, un ejercicio para. Okay, to refresh the vocabulary. To refresh the vocabulary. What else? I worked last week. I worked. Last week. Uh -huh, yes, I worked last week. Correct. Okay, work. No, no, stop. We just walk. Yesterday, I took a shower in the afternoon. Okay, I took a shower in the afternoon. Yes. Good. Change the curtains. I changed. Change. Okay. I changed the curtains. Okay, cambié las cortinas. Good. I changed the curtains. Yo también quiero cambiar. Right. Okay, what else? I changed the curtains. What else? What else? Prepare the dinner. I prepared. I prepared. Prepared. Okay, I prepared the dinner. I prepared the class. I prepared the report. Okay, prepared it, whatever. Okay. Okay, good. Now, we are going to use, if you want, you can use the same sentences. Pueden usar las mismas que me dijeron, but using negative. For example, I didn't uh, let's see I didn't uh, I didn't sleep well last night okay no dormí bien anoche I didn't sleep well last night ¿Cómo se me fue junto last night okay I didn't sleep well last night Okay, what else? Now in negative. If you see, for example, sleep, right? No, no past tense. Uh -huh. I didn't close the door last night. Okay, dangerous, but good sentence. Didn't close. Okay. I didn't close the door last night. Uh -huh. I didn't take my clothes off. I didn't take my clothes off. Yes, very good. Nice sentence. So we have here, didn't take. Okay, I didn't take my clothes off. I didn't wash the dishes. I didn't wash. Perfect. I didn't wash the dishes. I didn't clean the car. Okay, I didn't clean. Okay. I didn't clean the car. Okay, you can write sentences also in the chat, no problem. Can write or say it verbally, no problem. I didn't eat the breakfast, okay, Juan? Yes, you didn't eat breakfast. Ah, that's not good. You're gonna get sick. Don't <laughs> Okay, yes, I didn't eat breakfast. Good. What else? I didn't eat lunch. I didn't eat, din I didn't eat dinner, okay? I didn't drink water. I didn't drink... Uh, Coffee. Okay, what else?
I didn't destroy the garden. Okay, yes, it was a dog. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I didn't destroy the garden, okay? It was a dog. Okay, as you can see here, we're using didn't, didn't close, didn't take, didn't wash, uh, didn't clean, didn't destroy, didn't drive. Okay, for example, today I didn't drive to work. Okay, I didn't, okay, I didn't drive. Okay. They gave me a ride, and I didn't ride, right? They gave me a ride. What else? I didn't drink use yesterday. I didn't drink use yesterday, okay. Good. I didn't eat pizza yesterday. Okay, I didn't eat Pizza yesterday, I didn't read news yesterday. Okay, so these are, you know, sentences that we can use in affirmative form and in negative form, past tense. A regular verbs, but sometimes, you know, and well, in this exercise, we also use the irregular verbs. Any questions? Okay, let's see what we have for, okay, yes, we have the knowledge check, but we also have, uh, by the end of this class, it says you will learn to sound natural when using regular simple past verbs. And just the pronunciation. Tomorrow we're going to practice pronunciation. Has three different sounds. Watch three different sounds. These verbs and in past tense, right? We have work, clean, invited. Okay. Uh, if you have some information about this, okay. I think I have a. I have a, some information. I will send it to you later in the WhatsApp. So that you can have a, a more more information about the pronunciation. Okay, for example, look at this one. It says worked, cleaned, and invited. Invited, a visited, stayed, and watched. All right. So this is what we are going to do tomorrow after we do the the knowledge check that we have to review the affirmative and negative sentences in the past tense. Okay, pregunta, dudas, comments, we are okay? Okay, people, one hour left, now what I can have it was fast, okay? So thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. Take care, okay? Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Okay, See good you. Night. See you. See you, See you tomorrow. tomorrow.